on this episode of The Ultimate Agent. Day five, welcome to top three. Tonight is the night where we eliminate one person and it's just gonna be two standing. Everyone else has had their big day so far, right? Patrice had her, her top day. Amanda had her top day. Johnny had his top day. Well, someone's due, right? Like just do what you know how to do. Protect families. Well, today is extremely important. You are starting over at zero and it's another elimination day. It's getting real. My name is Cody Askins. I've been in the insurance industry since I was 20 years old, and it's my mission to help and train every agent in the world. We took five agents from across the country and had them compete in the most intense, emotional, and entertaining competition the industry has ever seen. Six apps before noon. Winners win, but legends dominate winners, and I'm, I'm gonna be a legend. I'm thinking that my minimum is 5,000 a day. We brought in some of the top mentors and trainers in the world to help these agents along the way. We pushed them to their limits, fine-tuned their skills, and document the entire experience. Okay, and so what's a good time for you tomorrow, Larry? I'm gonna be relentless, bring the bulldog out. I'm ready, like, I'm so ready. Five agents, six days, $121,000 on the line. And the competition starts right now. Day five, welcome to top three. Two more days, give yourselves a hand for being in the top go. three, let's go. go. Everyone else has had their big day so far, right? You know, uh, Patrice had her, her top day, Amanda had her top day, Johnny had his top day. Well, someone's due, right? So here I am. Last night, last night, was rough, right? Like it makes it so surreal. Michael, how are you feeling about today? Dude, I'm jacked out of my mind right now. I mean, this is, we have one more day to make it to the final day. I loaded up with resources this morning. When I was sitting there, my phone was just going off, appointment booked, appointment booked, appointment booked from our system. Mm -hmm. You know, so we have our automated system. I threw those in there this morning. I said I'd get here early so I didn't get penalized. I was here early. I, don't, I mean, I think everyone was still asleep, you know? When I walked into the main room, everyone was asleep still. Like, come on, let's go, people. You Waking know? up so the whole house. Today's a whole new day of energy, man. I mean, I'm, I'm ready to go out there, rock and roll, and finally for the audience to see a little bit uh, a little bit more of me, as you guys can see, I even changed my apparel, so. Yeah, it's like, oh, he's, he's excited, he's smiling, and he's put on a coat. It's, you know, it's crazy. He's using, he's using big words like apparel. And a, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, here's what I wanna know real quick. How much premium are you gonna write today? Seven. Seven. Thousand. Thousand. My goal is 15,000. 15,000. Mm. I'm gonna go with 7,500. 7,500, that'd be a couple hundred more than yesterday, right? Well, today is extremely important. You are starting over at zero, and it's another elimination day. It's getting real. I wanna jump to Nate to see what advice he has. I can bring things to you that, that I can teach you. You're not gonna learn it in a day. Roger can bring things he can teach you, you're not gonna learn it in a day, right? You know, so can Dallas and Cody. So look at your zone and then look at the coaches and go, how can I utilize their skills to help me increase what I'm good at and my strengths so I can improve upon them? Because we can teach you that in a day. You know, Roger talked about this morning, your mantra in the morning. I think any successful person, or I know every successful person you talk to, they put themselves in a space mentally where they visualize what they want to do has already happened. And that's an art and it's a skill, but it's something you can do immediately. And if you can get that mindset right and put yourself in that situation, I mean, the sky's the limit. Everyone's bringing their A game today. Mindset. Mindset is what separates the best from the rest. There you go. Yeah. Right there on Word the TV. On I love it. I love it too. But it's funny, when you were saying that, Amanda was looking towards her t shirt and Michael also smirked a little bit. Why'd you do that? I haven't had a coach yet, right, in this contest. <clears throat> so being able to hear him say that, even if I don't have a coach today, okay, 
That just means I need to push myself more and do what I do best. And I haven't done that this whole time, right? Like I've been trying to do this, this, and this. I know what my zone is. Mm. And that's why I'm so damn confident about today. So it takes you being coachable in order to win a coach. If you want a coach, then you have to work to get one. It may seem like it's a little unfair. No, it's not unfair. Be coachable and earn your coach. The reason why I had a coach for two days is because I worked my ass off yeah. and I earned a coach. I went ahead and, and made it this far on my own volition, you know? Had I had a coach, had I earned a coach, I would probably be a lot further along, yeah, absolutely. Every challenge is here to teach us. It's an opportunity for us to grow, for us to learn. It's true. Amanda, you're kind of, are you, are you kind of thinking the same thing or what are you thinking over there? You're, you're processing. You've had three days to prove yourself and, you know, in one day, I think I've done more than the three days combined for a certain person. So I, um, yeah. So I worked for that. Yeah. So you guys are here to help us, but you're not giving us anything. We have to work for everything. If what someone else says bothers you, that tells me that her mindset's already shot for the day. Here's what I want you to take from today, right? Nothing else matters. You got to drown out all the noise. Yep. Your emails are blowing up. Your family at home's got stuff going on. They're texting you, right? You've got to be present mm -hmm. in the moment, and you've got to stay focused and be present till the till the bell rings tonight. Hundred percent. There is no there. There are no other things. Because if you want this, if you want this to, to really take you to that next level, you've got to use every minute and be present and own it and own it. So that's all we're going to do today. Keep it in focus so you can be blazing hot all day. All right, go get it. I'm excited. I'm excited to see Let's what happens Let's go. Today. Day five. There can only be one ultimate agent. Let's rock and roll today. What's going on? Cody, I'm in this fight for real. And you know that. We are here and we're supposed to be doing this by ourselves. Mm -hmm. I have an assistant at home. This is what she does for me. She calls on my underwriting and things like that. But what she also does is call on leads for me and books appointments for me. She's, she doesn't even know if I won or lost because I haven't even been talking to her because I haven't been talking to anybody except my mother. I take offense to this morning, Michael, coming in, yeah, it's going down this morning. You know, I bought a whole bunch of leads and I got my uh, audible assistant, book, they booked them. Wait a minute, nobody can help you book your appointments because here's the thing, if I had known that, I would be in a whole different space right now. But I thought the idea was that we were to do this 100% on our own without any assistance or without any anything. So I, I don't think that, it, that that's fair. We did talk about how you can buy leads. Okay. I even, I even brought it up to you because people weren't asking. That okay. Well. And other people had asked, so I want to make sure everybody knew. Mm -hmm. And then two, um, Everybody is able to use technology. The system he's using is the same as Samson. It's just the his IMO's version of Samson that sends text to try to book appointments. So it's automated text that are going out to these leads. Mm -hmm. But he's not using any help. He's asking if he could use assistance, other people, or his team, etc. And I said, no. Anything you use, anybody else has got to be able to use. So I can promise you, even though I may not, he may come in and beat his chest and like puff up and all that. But I can promise you, I've had all these same conversations with him. Okay. I can and cannot do. Okay. 100%. Okay. And you got a lot of people sitting at home, they got their money on Patrice. And if it helps you, it helps you to go buy leads. No, I'm good. Okay. Cody, I'm going to tell you something. When you ultimate agent, you don't need to do extra fluffy stuff. I told you from the beginning, this is how I live my life. I've been living my life as ultimate agent. All you about to do is just get, just put a title on it. But when you live your life as ultimate agent, you don't have to do tricks and gimmicks.
This competition is a competition. It's hard. We are put in situations that we're not normally in. None of us are in our comfort zone at all. I'm having a hard time just like everybody else is. I just want an opportunity to give you the information, okay? I think I'm gonna pass right now. You're gonna okay. pass right now? Okay, yeah. well you have a nice day, Christy, okay? You too. Bye-bye. Everyone's bringing their A game today. I know um, when you get down to the final three, I mean, I want to be one or two, preferably one, but I would love for me and Patrice to go to final two. Just because from day one, we've been girl power. Like, like we said, even last night, this is a male dominant industry, but I know that Michael's gonna bring his A game too. Well, I've got, uh, I've got an appointment at a credit union today. One of my door knocks, the lady said, you know, Family's here right now, come back. Uh, can you come to my, my work? I was like, yeah, absolutely, you know? <clears throat> and I asked her, I said, you know, while I'm there, I wanna talk to a few more people. So I said, do you think you can set that up for me? And she's like, yeah, absolutely. So when you walk into a credit union, you can't walk in looking like a slob, you know, so. <laughs> this, could be, this could be all the difference for me in terms of setting me over and getting me to the next round. Yep, just like the business, and have got to overcome and adapt. This episode is sponsored by the Pritchett Agency. The Pritchett Agency, they don't create your legacy, they help make it better. At the Pritchett Agency, they strive to help their clients, agents, and staff alike create the greatest legacy for themselves and their families. Come find out how they do it at go.pritchettagency.net. I'm just gonna dial, dial, dial. I do have one or two um, outside appointments that, I, that, that I've already made, but I'm gonna get on the phone and I'm gonna dial. Hello. Hi, Miss Michelle. I think we got disconnected. Yeah. We got disconnected. I'm so sorry about that. I was calling you, giving you the information about the final ex expense plan. Now it's gonna be just for you. So let me tell you how it works. I am a licensed senior benefits advocate and it's my job to determine which one of those programs is going to be the very best fit for you. Now I'm gonna do that by asking you a couple of questions about your health and your medications and we're gonna find you something good that fits your needs and your budget. Now, what's your birthday? I'm not interested. Well, well you, you said that you wanted some information. Why did you fill out the form? Yeah. I shouldn't have. I probably didn't know what I'm not thinking. You weren't thinking? No, everybody needs some life insurance. You were thinking you had No, a... I'm not interested. Thank you. Okay. Don't call again. Yes, ma'am. Do not call this. Well, because this is a contest, it's kind of a, a unique, it, it's kind of like a fishbowl right now. It's kind of like this, this echo chamber. It's the, in this tiny bubble, and we have to operate within the parameters of the contest. So yes, while we're serving families, and we need to do our very best to protect them and have their interests first, agents are also gonna have to make a judgment call when they need to shut down a conversation where you're trying to convince someone of something that they may not be fully convinced of yet in the next 30 days and we can go from there, okay? Awesome, thanks Sandra, you have a good day. Bye-bye. I had another one. I like it. What's the, what's your total? With the two, two apps for 21.45, so. Definitely, it's good to have those two uh, at around 2,000 because when agents feel the, too much pressure, then they have commission breath and then, then they can't close one because then it's like they're just trying to like force it at the client and the client can sense that. So I try to keep, you know, happy with what I've got because a little bit of momentum and traction is better than nothing because I don't know what they're at. I'm hoping that they're at zero. <laughs> So I did come out of there with the sale, um, small one, but again, it doesn't really matter on, on the final price. 
at the end of the day because it was another person that was needing the help. She's getting ready to retire in December and she was just super grateful that someone was able to meet with her in person because that's what she prefers to do business is face to face. Um, and when I got there, everyone was out to lunch. <laughs> so um, my ultimate plan didn't quite plan out, but uh, overall it went well. And she was like, you know, anyone that I can help you with, I'm gonna send them your way. Welcome back. Midday, day five. Amanda, how was your morning so far? It was good. I've just been dialing away. Awesome. So. Was there one specific thing that you learned this morning, looking back as you were working through some new leads and making calls? Just to mass action. Yeah. Just keep keep at it. Patrice, how about you? People are picking up the phone, so that's always a great thing. That's a good sign. That's a great sign. Having yes. lots of conversations, so that's awesome. I love it. Nobody wants to lead on too much though, right? I love it, I love it. Michael, how about you, buddy? How's day five, midday so far? How's your morning been? It's been a mixed bag, you know, so uh, as I was dialing today, I found a few opportunities that I had missed on, you yeah. know, and then um, obviously I had to leave, go to another appointment, come back, and then started to do some follow-up on some of the people that were kind of iffy and getting those people set for this evening. Yeah. He says mixed bags. Do you, do you trust him? Is he playing? Is he, is, he, is he messing with us? Is there some strategy going on right now? Right? Any thoughts? I don't know. Okay. Time will tell, right? So here's what we've been doing, right? Every single day, we've had an agent challenge where you have competed against one another to select the mentor that you would like to work with you and to help you. Today, we're gonna throw in a little twist, which is, instead of you competing and choosing a mentor today, the mentors are gonna compete here shortly, and then they <laughs> are gonna choose the contestant that they wanna work with and help. This can make a drastic impact on how you do the rest of the day. And we're gonna pair one mentor with one contestant based on how they do and based on who they choose. Let's finish strong. Let's go. Hey, we're here with our mentors for our next agent challenge. One of the most important things in insurance, day-to-day -day sales, building a business, is knowing how to drive a car from one place to the next. Y'all in trouble. So let's see who the best at that is right now. Y'all in trouble. Agent Challenge Mentor Edition is in the books. Dallas just edged it out over Roger. Now they get to choose a specific contestant that they're gonna help for the next two hours. Dallas gets first pick. Who would you like to select? I'm gonna go with the uh, leader in the clubhouse, Amanda. Okay. Pulled it off strong yesterday. We're gonna improve on that today. You know? I love it. Dallas with Amanda Lunsford. Roger, 
Second pick, who you got? I think I'm gonna go with Patrice. She had fire in her eye this morning when she woke up. She had a little something to prove, and uh, I'm gonna help her prove it. Love it, Nate. Michael V. Hill. There, there we go, baby. All right, that's what I wanted anyway. Nate, awesome. Nate and Michael. Okay, the picks are in. Let's see which mentor helps the contestants the most. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm just deep compressing right now for a second. All right, he's no time to be compressed. Get to work. Let's go. I got your space already. Look. Oh, look at your you. Your office is set up. Yeah. Who, who doesn't love Roger? You know, with everything that he brings, I know that uh, we're going to get some valuable information today. So now, as soon as my leads print so I can see all the information, I'm going to call him back and set the appointment. So you do this on a one call close or are you going to set up the appointment for later today? I'm going to set this one up for later. Yes. Make sure you do that lockdown. Yeah. <clears throat> the, lockdown, the lockdown is the key to getting them to show up because you can't sell anything they don't show up. For the agents that come out on top today and do extremely well at a high level is they have to continue to do the massive action, right? They cannot, they gotta keep a consistent, just like in success, he's gotta keep a consistent attitude no matter what's happening. They can't get excited when they write a big app and they can't get deflated when they're on the final thing and they go, I'm not gonna give you my bank account information. They just gotta keep going. Just dial, 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 dial like I at. have nothing better. Just dial. I'm imploring a, a bold coaching strategy. I'm leaving her alone. And uh. <laughs> dial, dial, dial. Actually, Mr. Myron's about to get a phone call. I said five, ten minutes. I think it's been five minutes. I can't stop. That's for sure. I can't take my foot off the gas. I think I would feel cozy if that's a good word. Um, 4,000 or more. Patrice's numbers, I think she was at three one time. Michael's never really, I think, went over 2,500. It doesn't mean anything though, because he just bought fresh leads and he also bought mortgage protection. So that's a big deal because mortgage protection's higher AP. So that's that scares me a little bit. Hello? Hello, hi Jean, it's Patrice Shepard calling you back from Senior Benefits. I received your card here from where you sent us to request information about the final expenses in Nebraska, the new 2022 programs. So I I'm, did not send any card about that. Yeah, so I have it right here. I just received it today. What I want to do is I'm calling to give you and Arlen the information about the program. I just want to verify, no. I just want to verify that I have all the information. I, I did not ask for this information. I did not ask for it. I'm Ma not interested. Thank you. So when you get a, when you get a situation like that, just say, oh, let me, I received a mail, a piece. So if you did not fill it out, maybe your husband might have filled it out or someone else may have filled it out. Mm -hmm. But I received it here and it's in handwriting. Is your name Gene? And then spell it out. Are you at 415? Are you 63? And he's 70? If you think about when someone that you don't know is approaching you or calling you or showing up at your home, there's three questions really that are running through their mind. Two or three questions. Number one, who are these people? You know, who, who are they with and what do they want? I mean, these are the questions that are running through their mind. So if we know those questions are running through their mind, then we should stage and position the open on our call and our first contact with that client or potential client to answer those questions. And when you do, you've answered now the questions that have given them skepticism and it's lowered the barrier and increased trust and given you that little extra window of grace to explain why you're calling and how you're about to help them. I'm gonna give you one, I'm gonna give you one more little tip. Yeah. Okay. The two questions that are running through people's heads, if you answer those first, you buy yourself about another 10 to 15 seconds to continue. So if someone showed up to your house and you didn't know who they were, what are the questions running through your head about? Who are they? Yeah, and what do they, what do they want? What do they want? That's what's running through everyone's head. So when you open up, you answer those questions, but then you pause and say, how are you? And then I know, you stop I'm trying talking. to stop doing that. And then you stop talking. Right. So that creates a gap. Mm -hmm. Now they're gonna ask a question about what it is you're doing 
and that interrupts your flow. You give power away. Okay. You just sit, you, you give them control. When she changed that, it allowed her then to take the next step to verify the information on the card they submitted or the lead form they filled out online. And their first question was then not, how are you? And it was just dead space. And now the client is saying, what's all this about? The first question was, I want to confirm this information. Are you still at 123 Main Street? And so she needed a little help with that. Boy, when she made that tweak, she started getting a lot more conversations. We started getting into a, a, a lot more opportunities for her to be able to serve people. Here's the key. I'm going to give you this one key and I'll let you get to work. So, Michael, the only reason, Julie, Michael, the only reason I'm here today or on the phone today with you is to establish, is there a concern? Right? Because my whole goal is I want to get her over to think about it right away. Okay? So the only reason I'm here today is to establish, is there a concern? Is there a concern that you want to have something put in place so in the event the unexpected were to happen that you're not leaving each other or your family with a financial hardship? And look, here, I'll get to you. I'll have it right now. I think we've established that. Based on our conversation earlier, I think we've established that, haven't we? That you do want to have at least something? Yeah? Julia? Okay, great. So let me explain how the process is going to work. We're going to apply today to see what you qualify for. And a couple of things, big pieces that he was missing in the presentation that I was able to help him out with um, was being able to overcome the, I want to think about it. Because he was getting a lot of those, I want to think about it at the end. He had all the pieces there. So we were able to show how to overcome that, I want to think about it. And also how to explain the process before showing the numbers. So they knew what to expect. So the application was just part of the presentation instead of having it segmented to where a lot of agents will struggle. They get to that point and it's like, oh, I got to take an app and it's awkward. It's uncomfortable. If you just simply explain the process, here's what we're going to do today. And you explain the process when it gets to the point to take the app, they already agreed to take it. I'm going to show you some numbers. You're going to pick a number and it's not so important. You pick the exact number and then you price shock them. Let's say you pick 400 bucks a month because the first number you always give is always high. What's their brain thinking? 20, 30 bucks a month is going to cover the whole thing, right? Let's say you just pick 400 bucks a month. And I know you can see it in their face, right? Oh, yeah. And we apply for the coverage. And you like, the next day you're like, oh my gosh, like what are we doing for? Don't, you know, they cancel. Just call me and say, hey, I just want to lower it down. We just lower it down while it goes to the underwriting. You know? So when we actually put the policy through and we apply for the coverage, whatever number you pick, it's easier to go down than it is to go up. And it's easier to take things off than it is to add them on. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if you're kind of like, I'm not sure about this one or that one, it's okay. We can qualify high, we can always go lower. You know, he's been very encouraging and uplifting and and just really a in your face, you gotta go and do this now, you know? So that's, that's what I need to get myself through the rest of this day. Tonight is the night where we eliminate one person and it's just gonna be two standing. Okay, Bruce, so I'm putting everything in, in here for you, okay? Okay. And your policy's gonna start on, it's gonna start today once I put the information in. That's the ultimate end goal for, for today, right? Is I gotta finish number one or number two, otherwise I'm living on a jet plane tomorrow, you know, so. And then um, what medications does the doctor have you on? I didn't do this just for myself. I did this to show not just females, but everyone that life can suck sometimes, but you know, if you really focus and 1% better that you can come out on top. And next, after I get you covered, we need to we need to talk about Victoria and see if she needs any coverage too. You know, someone asked me the last uh, yesterday, what two would you want to stay in the finale? Or who do you want to win? And, and I'd be like, I don't know. It's like having, you know, three kids and be like, which, which one of these kids are you want to give up today? It's like, none of them, I love them all. This episode is sponsored by the Pritchett Agency. The Pritchett Agency, they don't create your legacy, they help make it better. At the Pritchett Agency, they strive to help their clients, agents, and staff alike create the greatest legacy for themselves and their families. Come find out how they do it at go.pritchettagency.net. Results are in. It's time to go over the results of today. Day five was a big, close day. It was the single best day we've had in the house so far. The winner of day five of the Ultimate Agent Contest 
with six cells for $8,637.46, who is also in the bottom of the last two eliminations. Michael V. Hill. Give it up for Mike, awesome job, buddy. Okay. Today's win is great, yes. Having a coach has gone a long way today. Having Nate in my ear, he poured into me for 20 minutes. He's like, I know you need to dial, I know you need to dial, he's like, but you've heard the old saying, you gotta sharpen the ax so you can go out there and do more work. Michael, by winning day five, you've earned two fire tickets to 8% Nation 2022 at the end of July in Dallas, a total value of $10,000. So super excited for you for that. Thank you. Dude, thank you, man. Unbelievable day, awesome job. To go from in the last two the last two eliminations to this, what changed? My focus, focus and activity went up. Overall, I'm still not satisfied with my day. So a win is a win, right? But this win doesn't mean anything because tomorrow starts all over. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, I know that I, I left it all out there. Well, awesome job, incredible day. Great job once again, Michael. Thank you. Ladies. Down to our final two. Amanda, you pushed harder today than I've seen you push the whole time you've been here. You're also the improvement that myself and the mentors have all noticed in you from 72, 96 hours ago till today and tonight. Like you've become really, really good and really smooth and you have a ton of confidence in your ability at this point. Patrice, you're beginning to trust yourself on the phone again and realize what got you here and what you're good at. And you are the, possibly the best, one of the best here and one of the best I've ever seen at building relationships on the phone and getting people to trust you. And that's gonna go a long way in everything you do for the rest of time. So awesome job to you both. Okay. Amanda, you've been through a lot of trials and tribulations in your life, as you shared. What will moving forward in this competition and not going home quite yet mean to you? Uh, things I've taken from all the mentors and just um, keep driving forward, so. Why are you pushing so hard? Mainly just to show my daughters. That's why I entered this and my agents, but, but mainly my daughters. What kind of impact do you think it'll have on them watching this, and watching their mom do this and push like this and give it all she has for this? Uh, a lot because uh, if you want something bad enough, you just keep working at it. Are you thinking there's a chance that you can go home tonight? For sure. Patrice, single mom who's also overcame a lot of adversity in your life. What would it mean to you to not only continue, but to also be crowned? the ultimate agent tomorrow night. What it would really mean is that, you know, I, I've succeeded. You know, I have went on a several, I've been on several journeys and I feel like that I have conquered them. And this is just something else that I would like to conquer. Yeah. What are you feeling right now as you sit there and think through this and talk through this? I'm just thinking, uh, to be honest, um, I'm, I'm really grateful for this experience, just to be here and to have the experience, the exposure and the mentoring, the coaching. I mean, even just to share one-on-one -on -one moments with you you know, with, with Raj, with just everybody. 
Um, I'm just grateful for it all, and I know that it's something that is going to make me so much better. Yeah. Again, today's numbers were incredibly, incredibly, incredibly close. And they came down to the absolute wire. We gave it at all. So the person who is going home and being eliminated tonight is No one. You're both making it to the final day. Oh, oh, oh. oh girl. <laughs> Honestly, my heart was pounding out my chest. I was nervous. And, you know, I, I really didn't know if it, who, was, who it was gonna be. I was nervous that it could have been me. Our dream or our goal from shoot the first night we met was to be the last two girls. Thank you. How does that make you feel? So grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you. What are y'all thinking right now? It's done. I, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly speechless. My heart was beating so fast. Mine too. Tomorrow's numbers do restart at zero. However, since no one was eliminated, Michael, you earned a $750 head start tomorrow. Which means you will start at $750 of annual premium, while Patrice and Amanda will start over at zero. It's the final day. Do everything you can. Leave it all on the field. You can still buy leads. You can do whatever it takes to win. Get some rest. Tomorrow's a big day. And tomorrow night an is even bigger night. We'll see you for day six. But this win doesn't mean anything because tomorrow starts all over. And the twist thrown in today, it just makes the pressure even that much more. And now it's time for me to really focus, come in tomorrow, and put up 10 figure day. On the next episode of The Ultimate Age. Day six. Welcome to the final day. Y'all made it to the final day. I think we should celebrate that, right? I'm very excited. Um, I'm full of so much emotion. I have excited energy, just ready to go and crush the day. People who have the mental toughness and who can think strategically, that's the person that's gonna win today. So today, do everything you can, push as long as you can, use every single minute you possibly can, because tonight, someone is going to be crowned the ultimate agent.